Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Malke of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. And this morning, I'd like to, I like to capture my uh, thoughts with the word, fearful journeys. Fearful journeys. Now, now you, you know, I, so, sometimes I, I, when I look at this a scripture, I, I get really startled by some of the things that, have you, have you considered uh, Psalm 23? When the Bible says that the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. In reading that, that psalm, the famous Psalm 23, it's a very powerful uh, psalm. I just came upon something that startled me. Now you look at it very carefully. The Bible says, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. So he's the shepherd. He's constantly by my side. He's there to provide for me. He's there to supply my needs. And the Bible says, he leads me. To green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He leads me in paths of righteousness. So three times the Bible says he, le he led, he leads, he leads. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me uh, in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. He leads me beside uh, in green pastures. I mean, you can hear all these things are all pleasant places. Green pastures, still waters, and paths of righteousness. Then he came to one of them, then I said, the year do I walk. Now, the first three, he is leading. The first three, he is in front. He is pulling me, he is bringing me. You get it? And all those uh, moments are pleasurable moments. But then when the Bible says, year do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you don't see him leading. As if he has disappeared. As if he has disappeared. Now, you don't see he leads me through the valley of a shadow of death. It's, it's not so. It is like now, after he has led, then sometimes it looks as if, I mean, when it comes to the valley of shadow of death, it looks as if I'm all alone. I'm on my own. And uh, I am walking through the valley of the shadow of death. Now, that is not a pleasant thing. And it looks as if, I mean, at that place, it looks as if God has disappeared. You know what the principle is? There are moments when you feel the presence of God so powerful that you have no shadow of doubt in your mind. The man, he's in around. He's around and he's still in charge. Joyous moments, accelerating moments, exciting moments, celebratory moments. But then look at what he says. He said, ye do I walk through the valley of a shadow of death. Now here's the interesting thing. In those moments, it looks as if you're all alone. I am walking through. I am walking through the valley of a shadow of death. I am walking through. And those are very, very moments when they are low moments. Valleys are very low moments in your life, just like mountains are high moments in your life in, in terms of biblical typology. But here's the interesting thing, and then he says, yea, though I walk through the valley of a shadow of death. That means there'll be moments in your life, there'll be moments in, or there'll be times and seasons in God's dealings with you that sometimes you won't even feel his presence. It may look like the heavens are like brass, it looks like prayers are not being answered and the weight of loneliness will hang heavy upon your shoulders and the garment of loneliness is going to be your companion and the bread of loneliness is what you're going to eat and the table of loneliness is where you're going to sit and feast and the bible says those moments sound very very alone it says yet though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death then the bible says something you have to make some decisions at that place you have to make some decisions at that place. And your decisions that you're going to make is not based upon a feeling. The decisions you're going to make is not going to be based upon any other thing. It's going to be a decision of the mind. It's going to be a mental decision you have to make. It's a mental decision you have to make. And look at what David said. Yes, I'm going to walk through the valley of a shadow of death. Then he said, I will fear no evil. So I'm going to wheel myself to a place where I'm not going to have fears. I'm going to wheel myself to a place. I'm going to make a decision in the mind. I'm not going to fear. 
It's not going to be a heart condition. It's not going to be a, a, a condition based upon my, my emotions or whatever it is. It is a, a, it's a decision that, I, a mental decision, I am going to make that, listen, I'm going to choose not to be afraid. I will choose not to be afraid. I will. I mean, it's going to be an exercise of a will. It's going to be an exercise. It's going to be a, a mental exercise. I'm, I'm thinking through it. I'm, 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 I'm resolute on it. I'm determined. I'm, 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 I'm pig-headed about it. I'm, 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 I've gone beyond just stubbornness. I've gone beyond just uh, obstinacy. I'm now working in the realm of pig-headedness. I will. Fear no evil. And guess what is it? So it is a choice you make. It's a mental decision you make that I'm not going to be afraid. And then the reason for that decision you are making, the reason for making that decision then follows after, I will fear no evil. Why? For thou art with me. And then look at what David said. He said, whether I see you or not, you get it? It looks like I'm walking alone, but I know you are with me. I don't feel you. There's nothing to show that you are around, but I know you are around. So this is making a decision to, making a decision to, walk with God, making a decision to, to um, making a decision that, listen, I'm not going to be afraid, not because of anything, but I am assured. And these decisions that I'm making are based upon the fact of his word. That when you go through the waters, I'll, I'll be with you. When you go through the fire, I'll go with you. Listen, if you can be with Daniel in the lion's den, and you can be with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the fire, for sure, he would also be with me. Because he has been with one, two, three, or more people. So he's also going to be with me. So... I will fear no evil because I know the fact, the assurance of his word, the assurance of, of his word that tells me I am not alone for thou art with me. You know what? Don't be afraid when there are moments when looks as if a cloud of loneliness hangs heavy upon you. Fear no evil. He's with you. See you later.